we touched upon Magic the Gathering earlier. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about it again. Okay. The One Ring, mm-hmm. Forged in the Fires of Mount Doom, uh-huh. opened in Canada. This serialized one of one, mm-hmm. Elvin, One Ring. Yep. Opened one in Canada. One Ring will rule them in all. In Toronto. Somewhere near Toronto, anyway. Yeah, in Ontario. Uh, and uh, if the guy tries to sell, it's going to be some tax. Yeah, they're con- seems like they're considering it to be income tax for some reason. Yeah, if he sells it because he got it out of the pack, we're assuming it's a he because that's whatever all the articles say. Yeah. Uh, the Canadian progressive tax rate goes into effect, which makes it he's going to get taxed 49% on 50% of the sale. So he'll get taxed 49% on, if it's $2 million, he'll get taxed 49% on $1 million of that dollar. Yeah. Still a lot of money. It is a lot of money. It's like... It progresses from like what twenty percent up to forty nine percent. Yeah, something like that. The size. Yeah. Um. So it would be less. This article is saying that if it was two million, they'd owe roughly four hundred ninety thousand. Incorrect. That's not correct at all. They would owe more than four hundred ninety thousand dollars. But it's fifty percent. The he gets taxed on fifty percent of it. Is what the article is saying. So if it's $2 million, he's going to get taxed on a million of that dollars at 49%. Uh, no, it's saying that when you get to um, half of whatever. Okay, well, the way progressive taxing works in Canada is a certain dollar value. It goes higher. Yeah. So I think they're interpreting this wrong. Uh, yeah. So it wouldn't be 50% of it is taxed at fi- 49%. At a certain point, it would be taxed at 49% over the whatever it is, $200,000 or whatever it yeah. is. So it is a progressive tax rate, but I think they've done this the incorrect way um, because it goes up. That's why it's people always are like, oh, if you take over too much overtime, you end up taking home less money because your tax rate goes up. No, incorrect. Your tax rate over a certain dollar value goes up. But yes. below that, it stays the same. So yeah. you always take overtime. Um, so if it was 49% over a certain amount, they would be paying more than $490,000. Anyways, I, it's poorly written. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, can't. Here we go. Down lower, it says, at if the sale was $2 million, the scenario, the government would take $980,000. That's if the guy found the card laying around. If he didn't buy the card, if he just found it. Oh, I see. That's what it would be. Okay, that's not an income tax then? I guess not. Hmm. Anyways. Um, but if it was gift, if he bought it, he gifted it to somebody else and that person sold it, then there wouldn't be any fat tax. Oh, you gifted it to your mom, dude. <laughs> yeah. Easy. <laughs> you have to be careful. <laughs> be like, it was a gift. I don't owe you anything. Um. That's a lot. But yes. I mean, still, that's a lot of money to be had as well. Yeah, it's weird that it's not. I, I agree with what you said in the earlier episode where we talked about it, where it's weird that it's not a like a lottery. Because it's yeah. kind of a lottery. And, and in Canada, you don't get taxed on your lottery winnings. Yeah, but you'd have to answer a skill testing question. Yes. So it's not actually a lottery. You're answering a... Do you have to answer a skill testing question? Well, yeah, you technically do, but they never ask you to answer it. <laughs> um, so it's not actually a lottery. Yeah. You're doing a service for the prize. Yeah. So, but that doesn't count in uh, Quebec, I think. Yeah. They have laws against it. So if you'll see any of these contests in Canada, it'll always say not valid in Quebec. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the, you didn't have to answer a skill testing question to open your pack of magic cards. No, you definitely did not. So <laughs> yeah, they're going to ban these. It's like a loot box, dude. <laughs> it's literally a loot box. Yeah. <laughs> I would have not minded opening it, but I don't know, dude, spending $500 for a box of 18 packs. Is it 18 packs? 18 packs. Expensive as fuck. Super expensive. Expensive as fuck, bro. We did it anyway for the meme. Not for the meme. Come on. (laughs) For the one ring. Yes. But, I mean, we wanted the cards because there are some super sweet cards in there. Super sweet special edition cards. Sure, but the same cards are not in in regular packs, too. Nope, they're not. 
Well, they have the same abilities. The same abilities, yes, yeah. but not the same art. Oh, the artwork. The artwork's completely oh, different. Oh, I see. I see. Yes. Okay. Like the the lands that are in here mm-hmm. are lands that picture the the picture on them is the ma- the map of of Middle Earth. Oh. So depending on where it is, like if it's a swamp, then of course it's going to be up in Mordor or whatever. Oh. No, if it's a mountain, it's going to be up in Mordor. Yeah. Like show like sh- shots of the map. Okay. Which are really cool. Okay, and if it's the plains, it'd be Rohan. Uh, Rohan, probably, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Cool. I really liked them. I really liked them. 